Hi, I'm Cecilia. Welcome to the ninth day of the 12 days of Christmas. For more of me, remember to check out my Instagram and also my blog to know more of who I am and what I stand for. So in the past eight days, we've been going through the incidents that happened during, before and after the birth of Jesus Christ. And we have looked at the announcement, we have looked at the conversation between Mary and Angel Gabriel. We have seen the conversation between Angel Gabriel and Joseph. We have also looked at the genealogy and its importance. And we have also seen the promise of the offspring who was promised from way back then and his fulfillment in Jesus Christ. So today we're going to look at now that he is born, the announcement that came to the shepherds. They were the first people that to receive the news of the birth of a savior. And that story is found in the book of Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 20. So who are the shepherds? First we know that they were on a hill somewhere um, outside the city or outside the city of Bethlehem and they were rearing sheep. So and also we know that the shepherds were despised um, people among the community, even their witness could not uh, be held in court of law because they were looked at as uh, knowledgeable or as people who did not know about the law, who did not understand the law. And we also see that since they were rearing or they were looking after the sheep uh, in the hill country, it could be that these sheep were the one to to be taken to the uh, house, to the house of God for sacrifice, you know, to the temple. So. So these were the things that were important about the shepherds. Firstly, it's that they were despised people in the community or in the society, and also they were not looked at upon with honor, and also they were rearing that sheep that would be used to sacrifice at the temple. But here we see that they were the first that the angel of the Lord visited to tell them about the good news of the birth of a savior. They were found in the hill country, it was at night, and yeah, they, they just saw the glory of God appear on them. So that is how now the information was passed on to them. The angel of the Lord came and there was the glory of the Lord shining upon them. And at first they were fearful because who will not be fearful? Like you were just on your own, doing your own things. And all of a sudden like the sky is just too bright for you. And there's this someone who you do not know where he came from talking to you and speaking to you. So there was fear among them. Like once you experience the glory of God, you will have fear because you already know that you are guilty, even without being told you are guilty. We have looked at at, at that. Probably I've written about it in my blog, how the holiness of God, like when you experience the glory of God, when you come across the glory of God, you definitely realize how sinful you are. And probably that's why they were fearful or they could, it could have just scared them. But we know that the angel told them, do not fear, you know, do not be afraid, you know. Like it was a blessing, it was a words of blessing that the angel had come to give unto them. And the angel says, tells them in Luke chapter, chapter 2 verse 10, he says, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. So it was a good news that the angel was bringing for them and to them. And also for us who go about telling the gospel, evangelizing to other people, we say that we are bringing to you good news, you know. And he said that unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ. So other than the shepherds, who are the other people who knew about Jesus Christ being the savior? We know of Mary, who was told that he was a savior, and also Joseph, and also Elizabeth when he met Mary. Those are and probably Zechariah also. Those were the few people who knew about a savior being born. We will see later on as we go on with this study, and tomorrow with the coming of the wise men that the leaders of that of the Jewish people, the you know, the Sanhedrin, you know, that is comprised of the uh, Sadducees, the Pharisees, and the scribes, you know, and the priests also, the high priests. Then they did not know about the Savior being born. You know, they, didn't, they were not aware of uh, the promised Savior. You know, the Christ who was to come, the Messiah, that he had already arrived. He had already been born. They didn't know about it. But here we see that the angel chose those who are low in the community to present to them the good news. You know, the gospel of a Savior who will come and save people of the whole world. And here they are. They hear the good news. And then the angel also tells them that, you will go to this place in Bethlehem, in the city of David, and you will find the baby. You know, the sign that they will know that this Savior has been born. There will be a baby wrapped in a swaddling clothes, and he will be lying in a manger. And 
immediately the whole heaven was opened and you know um like a myriad of angels showed up and they were all rejoicing being glad of this good news because we you see that even in heaven they rejoice in the coming of the savior they rejoice in the savior in the salvation of the people because it's not just for us but we see we read in romans chapter 8 that the whole creation is growing for the revealing of the sons of men so that the salvation that comes to really to save us as humans also something a good news that even the angels rejoice in it we hear them say in um, verse 14 of chapter 2 of Luke glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased you know it is peace for us who have who, who have found grace you know in God who has received that faith through grace for God because now we have peace with God you know it is peace to all who have found favor in his sight we have peace with God no longer are we waiting for that rather to come because of the birth of Jesus Christ and that brings about peace that's why they were saying that peace among those who have found favor in the eyes of God or peace among those who have been God has ple is pleased in them so what the angel was bringing to the shepherds is good news and the shepherds were privileged you know to have that first-hand information of the birth of a savior and the angels sang that uh, praise song to God because of their rejoicing and their gladness and knowing that the savior or salvation has come to the whole world and they went back into heaven and the shepherds were like okay let's go and see for ourselves if what this angel is telling us and if what we have witnessed today it is true and they went into the city in Bethlehem and they found the baby just as they were told wrapped in a swaddling clothes and also in uh, being placed in a manger and they were so happy and excited that they could not hold that information to themselves they told the people around there of what they had heard and they have seen from the angels about the savior you know the Christ who was pro promised has come into the world and we are told that Mary treasured up the words that she heard from these shepherds and she pondered about them in her heart and we are also saying that and when they saw it they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child so they did not just keep that good news to themselves you know? they shared it with others so that others may also know of this saviour that is born this child that will come that has come into the world to bring about peace between God and man and there are so many things we can learn from the, this, the visitation of the shepherds. Firstly, we have we can learn that it is good news not only for us but for all creation. Even the heavenly beings are rejoiced, rejoice with the salvation of the people, rejoice with the coming of the Son of Man. We see that God chooses even the lowliest, the lowly of people, to present His good news to. You know, the shepherds were the despised people in the society, but here God chose to send them the good news of salvation, of a savior who was to come, a savior who was promised. He did not go to the St. Henry and tell them about the savior, no. He told the low people who are despised in society that a savior has come, that they may know the good news firsthand. And also we see that the, the shepherds did not just keep it to themselves, or not what, Dis, uh, dismiss it as wow this miracle has happened let us not go but they went in haste you know they went in a hurry they just dropped everything that they were doing they left the sheep in the hills and they ran into the city to see this child that they have been told and they found the child as his war as the child was so you can see from that that once you hear the good news do not take time it is once the good news comes to you take it in haste and go after it do not uh Take your time thinking that you have a whole lot of time, a whole lot of time, a whole lot of time in this world to do what you want to do. And then later on, you'll go and receive the good news and receive the salvation of Jesus Christ. But once, once you hear, hear it, once it is presented to you, take it in haste because you don't know of tomorrow. You're not promised of tomorrow. And the other thing you can learn from it is that uh, the shepherds did not just keep the good news to themselves. You know, they went out and told many who were in their uh, around them that the Savior has been born, you know, they told them about the visitation of the angel, I believe so, and told them about the Savior, you know, the Christ who they have been waiting for has come into the world, and people were amazed at at them, I'm sure they would have, because they would not have believed such an out of, out of the world uh, incident could have happened, but here they, they believed the word of God, and they proclaimed it to others, and the, the others may also know. And also we see them believing and actually acting in obedience upon what God had told them, or the message of God through the angel. They did not question it, or doubt it, or try to analyze it in their own understanding, but they believed it, and they went and acted on it. So you can learn also to obey the word of God and act on it without doubting, without questioning, but in obedience, 
like in submissive obedience, knowing that God does not lie to us. And also we see that Mary took up, treasured up those words, those words of good news, those words of wisdom, and pondered upon them in in her heart. So we see also the importance of thinking about the word of God, meditating on the word of God, memorizing the word of God, thinking about it deeper and deeper, you know, trying to understand it more because also it requires our minds to um, understand what God is saying. So that it's not just a blind faith. So that it's not just someone coming telling you that here I come, God loves you and you'll be saved. Just accept it and don't know anything else. You have to question, you have to understand, you have to inquire in the word of God and learn more about it. Understand your faith, understand what you believe in and you'll be blessed. So that is um, what we are seeing today about the announcements, announcement of the angel of God, about the birth of the Christ, the birth of Jesus to the shepherds and they were the privileged in the society in before the eyes of God to receive this good news of the gospel. And thank you for joining me today in this ninth day of the day of Christmas. And if there be anything you have learned from the announcements of um, the angel to the shepherds, be sure to write it in the comment section. And also thank you for joining me until we see each other tomorrow. Remember to check out my Instagram and also my blog to learn more of who I am and what I stand for. And until tomorrow when we see each other again, goodbye and God bless you.